Hello everyone and welcome to our channel TechWine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start your lab. Now log into the cloud console. In the console, first of all, you have to open this cloud shell. Click continue. In the cloud shell, we will run two commands first. Type gcloud auth list. Then hit enter. Click authorize. And the second command that we will run is gcloud config list project. then hit enter now you can go back to the lab and scroll down copy this command then run it in the cloud shell run the next one ok now again go back to the lab Copy this command, then run it. Now you can go back to the lab and check the progress. Ok now, in the search bar of cloud console, type compute engine open this in the vm instances you will see this cloud manager instance click on its external ip click sign up for the email id you can simply use the username provided in the lab for password also we can use this password for company you can type anything for name also you can provide anything click sign up click continue for the connector name type user for account name also you have to type user then click on this button now the deployment is going to take some time so you will have to wait for few minutes now the deployment is complete click on this button now go to the settings and in the connector settings you will find this general section and in this section uncheck this box then click save click on this blue xp then add a working environment choose the gcp now select this single node system click add new For cluster name, you can provide any name. For the password, go back to the lab and copy this password. Then simply paste it. Now confirm your password. Click on continue. Turn off this back to cloud option. Then click continue. Check this box. Again click on continue. You can close this. And if you will scroll to the bottom, you will find this option freemium. Select this and click continue. Now we have to change the configuration. Click on it. For the version, scroll to the bottom and you will find this version. Select it. 
then click apply for the machine type also you have to select this n1 high mem4 then click continue for the disk choose the standard and for disk size select 100 gb and click continue continue for the volume name go back to the lab scroll down and you will find this volume name copy it then paste it for the size type 10 and click on continue again continue select these check boxes and click on this go ok now our system is being created so we have to wait for few minutes and once it is complete we can move ahead once the creation completes go back to the cloud console and open the cloud shell and from the lab copy this command then run it one more thing you can go back and check the progress for this task now let's move on and go back to the net app open your system double click on it then go to the volumes then you will see this volume click on manage volume then on the mount command and this is our mount command and we have to run it in the SSH window for Linux instance. Now go back to the compute engine and if you will click on this refresh you will see these three instances. Now click on the SSH for this Linux instance. Now go back to the lab and copy this command then run it copy the next one and run it and you have to copy this command up to this point then paste it in the SSH go back to your mount command and copy this please copy this very carefully now paste it in the SSH and from the lab copy the remaining command then paste it and hit enter copy this one and run it run the next one Now you can check your progress. Now go back to the net app. Click on blue XP. Then open your system. Double click on it. After that go to volumes. Click manage volume. And in this protection actions click on create a snapshot copy then click on create now you can go back and check the progress copy this command and run it in the SSH now again go back to the net app click manage volume then from protection actions create a snapshot copy this command and run it in the SSH copy the next one and run it
now copy this command up to this point then paste it now copy this timestamp then paste it copy the remaining command paste it and hit enter copy this next command and run it copy this command run it now you can check the progress move to the net app click manage volume protection actions now we have to restore from a snapshot make sure this first one is selected then click on restore now if you will wait for few seconds and after that refresh the page you will see we have two volumes now go back to the lab copy this command and run it copy this command up to this point paste it after this we will need the mount command for this data one volume so click on manage volume then mount command now carefully copy this paste it now copy the remaining command then run it copy this one and run now check your progress congratulations you have successfully completed this lab now you can end it and if the video solution was helpful please consider subscribing for the next time stay safe stay healthy Thank <laughs> you.